Hi, dear friends, Chris here. I hope you all are doing well today. So today I have an unboxing for you, or I'm begging, from DIYDigitalArt.com. Um, now you will see in the actual unboxing two things. First off, that I started out saying I had five items, which is true. I do have five items. However, I decided to split the, the unboxing into two parts. So today you'll see three items. And in the next video, you'll see two, the rest, the other two. Um, and I also wanted to point out that both now, as you can see, and with the unboxing itself, or unbagging, um, the lighting isn't great, and it's in a different location um, due to circumstances um, from when I was doing it. Um, so I hope you don't mind. Um, and I hope you enjoy what I have to show you. I also want to mention um, for these three that you'll see today, they're special shaped um, um, paintings. And the the thing is, I'll link the DIY Digital Art mainframe store down below. However, for some reason, um, right after I, um, you know, selected them to be chosen to uh, to review here, not too long after that, they kind of disappeared from the site. I don't know why. Um, and so you, I can't find them on the site anymore. So hopefully they'll be back. Um, and uh, I guess that's probably all. Oh, and just one little thing that's kind of, I, I don't want to mention it in case you didn't notice, but I should mention it. So a lot of times in my videos, uh, I tend to notice it sometimes, but you'll, it's certainly noticeable here. Um, I kind of, you know, <laughs> well, let's just say I have, if you're wondering what's on my shirt, if sometimes things on my shirt, usually it's just a little toothpaste <laughs> because when I brush my teeth, I kind of drip. So I'm sorry. I have to really watch for that because I kind of feel embarrassed by it now. And I, well, might as well just to be upfront about it. You know, you can see it in the video. So, um, that's what it is and I'm sorry I don't mean to do it you know be messy but um, I kind of don't notice it when I'm getting ready to do the video and then I see it afterwards and I'm like oh my god I can't believe I didn't change or check you know but anyways it's just another crazy thing to make me me right <laughs> all right thank you so uh, let's just move on to the video um, the unbagging I hope you enjoy them I hope you like them I really think they're really pretty and um, Check out DIY Digital Art. Thank you so much for uh, letting me show this stuff. And thank you all for your continuing support. I love you all guys. Okay, bye-bye. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. Um, today I have five items for you. So let's get right to it. Uh, again, they're from DIYDigitalArt.com. Um, of course, I'll link the store below and the paintings um now the three the first three i'm going to show you now i did take these out of the regular you know shipping bag but i haven't opened them um and the first three i'm going to show you are special shaped and for i don't know why but it's not showing up as available on the website when i click the link it's gone so i don't know if they're not selling these anymore out of stock i don't know what the deal is i have seen them on other um, budget friendly sites in case you are interested you probably might be able to find somewhere else um but you know just check under you know try to check back on at diy digital art um if you're interested and um again maybe they'll be back in stock i'm not sure but as of right now um they um these three aren't in stock and of course I'm film filming this um, in advance so in case I see them come back in stock I'll have the links for them down below all right and I'm sorry about the lighting you know I'm not in the regular space here so all right let me um roll this up the other way first it's a little creased So we have our regular standard toolkit. Wow, the, I know the lighting is bad. It's real bad. I'm sorry. Um, and we have our little package of diamonds. 
and special shapes. All right, so these were just so nice and pretty and I just couldn't resist them. Um, now, usually I tend to get um, my special shapes in when they have more coverage. Um, but this was kind of an exception. It was, I guess, again, because I really like the design of this. I like the colors. And um, it's a little, it's an oblong. So it's not, you know, the standard, like, uh, 25 by 35 kind of drill area. Um, this says it's 30 by 60. Um, and it's called Flowers and Butterflies. It has a name up top. And there are 14 um, shapes and rhinestones to this. Um, and even though it's not as covered as I usually like it, I think it does look really, it, it will look really nice. I, I haven't done it, of course. But um, I think the coverage of the, everything else but the background is plenty. So I'll take you up close oops, to the bottom. And to the top. Um, so obviously we have uh, some bows with some um, like diamondy kind of dripping down and probably pearls or something up here. And we have this heart, a beautiful huge butterfly, another heart, butterfly, butterfly, heart. Uh, and of course the Eiffel Tower, beautiful pink background. We have, and on the bottom we have a bunch of like flowers, which I would say probably you could call roses. So I think it's really beautiful. Okay, so let's check, check the colors out on this one. I did say there are 14, I think, right? All right, 14. So we have a whole bunch of different sizes. Actually, let me, I will bring this back out. We could see where they go. So, okay, first we have number four, that's a rhinestone. I'm not gonna show you the rhinestones where they go, but. That's number four. Then we have a faceted AB round. You see these a lot. Then we have a, a pinkish rhinestone. Four and ten. Then we have another pink, very a lighter pink rhinestone. A clear rhinestone. We have a black, all black <clears throat> resin type drill. Now we have, this is a really pretty hot pink, it's faceted rhinestone. And here's a, a, a red, a regular red, smooth rhinestone. Here we have a faceted red, um, long, sort of teardroppy. So that's eight. Eight is our shape. I'll look for the some of these bigger ones to show you where they go. Eight is the R. So that will go right there in the middle of the butterfly and over that one too. So the nine we have, um, uh, I found, I did, um, the first time I've had any of these were in my um, Woman in Gold uh, Diamond Dots, and that is a rectangle. So this is the second time I'm getting a rectangle shape, 
very tiny ones. They look like silver or clear rectangles. Let's see, number nine, and that's the S. Okay. And that, I think, yeah, it goes, so they go right, oops, sorry, right in there, the S's. There, there. There's a couple down there. That goes in the tower. 10, 11 is these um, AB clear faceted larger round rhinestone kind of things. 11. So 12, we have pretty half pearls. 13 and 14 are also half pearls. These are medium sized half pearls. And the 13 is, uh oh, am I missing one? Oh no, okay. I showed you how to order. <laughs> 13 are the larger half pearls. And of course, you could see there are the X's, they will go there on the bottom. Sprinkled about. So, what'd you all think? So this is number one, beautiful, I think. I love that. So let me just put the um, bags away real quick. I kind of do think they're starting to step up their special shape. Um, diamond paintings now. When I first started, they were kind of more limited, you know, and they weren't, you know, they had plenty, but they were kind of, some of them weren't really all that great, but there's tons and tons more nowadays. So that's nice. Okay. Okay, same standard toolkit. No peeking. Don't worry, I'm not peeking. I hope you're not. Of course you can't be though. <laughs> okay. Okay, it goes this way. So here we go. So this one is a purple one. It is a 30 by 60 as well. It's called butterflies and it has 11 shapes. So starting from the top, again, we have some flowers up here, some um, cords of diamonds hanging down. We have heart shapes and we have a big butterfly, another big butterfly, a smaller butterfly, one big, medium and small. Again, more hearts, and on the bottom we have more flower roses. Stick is okay. I mean, it's a special shape, so they're never really, you can never really tell. I think usually they stay on fairly well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this part that's not drilled is definitely, there's no sticky there. It's only on the actual um, drill area. Okay. So. So this pun probably only has three special shapes just by looking at the key here. So a pretty purple. Purple is my favorite color. So this was a definite must.
Again, different shades. A clear, large bag, clear, packed. Here we have a medium sized um, pink rhinestone, kind of like the ones you find on the bubble rounds. And here's a larger pink bubble type. Here is a clear um, faceted, you know, AB coated eight, seven. Here's a medium size clear bubble type. Um, here have them, I believe, I always forget, marquee. These are purple with an AB like coating on them. So nine, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is a few hearts, pink hearts, and ten. Oops, that was one. See, I keep freaking myself out. I'm not look, um, putting these in correct order, so I'm wondering, thinking I lost one. And this is a beautiful, beautiful oblong uh, purple. Not something you usually get in these special shapes of this color. Um, special shaped one. So um, basically, let's see. The A's here are the pink large bubble round ones. The G is these clear ones. The H is the beautiful purple oblong. Uh, there's a name for it and I'm, um, it's leaving my head right now. Um, that's number 10, that's the H. So that goes in here in the butterfly the wings were there. Um, 11 is the heart, so that goes in the middle of the butterfly. T, that's, is that the only one I see? That looks like the only T on here. Oh well. One, two, three, four. They gave me seven of them, which is always nice. They always give you extra, but too bad they didn't put the T in somewhere else though. So, no big deal. I'm actually going to just do um, three of these today, these three um, special shaped ones, and then I'll do the other two in another video in a part two. I don't know if I said I was going to do all five or whatever was the case, but I think I'll just do these three. Again, standard toolkit. <laughs> We're all used to that by now, really, right? Okay, so here we go. Again, it is the same size, a 30 by 60, and they call this Eiffel Tower. Look familiar? These will definitely have to flatten because they've been, um, they have um, the folded crease from the shipping, from just, well not from shipping, from just being folded like they were. It's not a problem, they just have to be flattened for a few days. So let's get out the first one because it's not 
um, oh yeah, well, it's not the same. It's similar. If you com compare and contrast. Um, hmm. It is interesting that, let's see, very, very similar. But it is di different. See, on this one, the pink one, the Eiffel Tower is larger. And the everything is a bit larger on here. The Eiffel Tower, the butterfly, and the bow. Because it basically is a, almost... It's basically the exact almost... Not... Chris, learn to speak, please. It is very similar. There are obviously differences but um within the design itself but that for instance on the pink one the bow on top is cut off where on the blue one it is not um this one looks better scaled than the pink one does but it honestly doesn't matter they both look fantastic um and it's not the same exact design they are different butterflies they are different hearts um you know the top is a, i think a little different so it, it's very similar though <laughs> all right so 14 colors in this one now these are beautiful i could see them already these probably have the best of the three have the best um shapes diamonds and special shapes they're just simply beautiful okay so let's start with number one we have a giant bag of clear rhinestones in number two, we have this beautiful um, tealish green blue. Then, where's number three? Okay, three, we have a lighter blue rhinestone, of course. Three, then four, we have medium size half pearls. five we have a couple of the or three in here i don't know on the canvas we have three of these oblong turquoise shapes six beautiful beautiful blue half pearls Seven, we have this beautiful faceted blue, um, probably ear, a b iridescent type um, teardrop. And when you move it, I don't know if you could see it. It shines off purple and greens. Lovely. Eight, my favorite one. These are these like teardroppy shape. I call them pineapples because they, they're textured. They have this beautiful texture on them. So that's eight. Nine, we have a larger bubble round rhinestone. Um, 10, we have a large half pearl. 11 a clear oh no it's um well it's an ab so it's you can see like clear pinks and greens and blues faceted round shape 12 we have a larger one the same 13 the beautiful um again same iridescent a b ish rounds um swirls or bursts i don't know what you'd call them and 14 they are oval clear faceted they actually look a little gray but maybe that's just the backing or the light in here, <laughs> but they're probably clear. I don't think they're gray. Okay, so let's see. Number five 
is the z two two so two there's two of these and they go right there in the butterfly on both sides so we have that then number seven is the x which is these beautiful turquoise teardrops and those go in the butterfly here and the butterfly here six is the pearl blue and that's y so that goes in the but in the bow middle of the bow on the butterfly on the wings and the flowers down here in the middle my textured pineapple blues they are s's and so they go in the middle of the butterfly there over here in the larger di diamond hanging down 10 is the the large half pearls it's h and they go again in the the bow up here down here in the flower and let's see these 14 is the u those are these oblong oops color uh, clears the u and that goes hmm where do you go oh okay they go down in here in the Eiffel Tower on these two levels right there and finally 13 is the L which are the what I call the burst or twirls or pinwheels whatever you'd like to call them beautiful and that is the L and that goes in the Eiffel Tower there okay so there we have it let me just put these away real quick before I send you on your way. So I hope you like these. I really thought they were beautiful. I think there probably are a couple more that I've seen. The, the, a couple more colors. I think a couple, maybe a couple more um, designs of just the butterfly one alone. But I can only, you know... Uh, so I'm doing this review and I only could ha um, get so many of them so here we have the blue Eiffel Tower butterfly hearts we have the purple butterfly hearts and we have the, the pink Eiffel Tower butterflies with hearts all so beautiful and be again lovely drills I, I can't wait to do these so like I said diydigitalart.com thank you so much for sending these out to me um, again I'll have to check on the availability and I'll check to see if other kinds um, are still on the site I'll try to remember to do that before I put it put um, the video up and like I said, I'll link the store proper itself in the description. Um, and I'll try to keep checking and you check back too if you are interested in types like these. Um, I believe you can search out. I don't remember, I don't have the website in front of me obviously. So I, you can either search specifically for special shape or you can, they, they might have a category where you could search if you're interested in their kind of special shape um, paintings. All right, I've kept you long enough. I've hoped you enjoyed these. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you uh, for your, you know, <laughs> support and friendship. I appreciate it greatly. And thank you to DIY, DIY Digital Art for a lovely relationship we have. And I, again, thank you so much for the lovely paintings. Till next time, friends, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.